One, two, three. I'm Emma Isaacs, the CEO of Business Chicks. Business Chicks is Australia's largest network for women with over 32,000 members all around the country. So Business Chicks has morphed into Australia's largest network for women and we produce an events program of over 90 events. So they range from smaller workshops through to massive breakfasts and lunches and we've been blessed to have speakers like Sir Richard Branson, Diane von Furstenberg, Sir Bob Geldof, Michelle Bridges, Mark Boris. Um, so it's a real joy to be able to do that work. Well, I've had a little bit of an unusual career path and that I've never worked for anyone else before. So I had my first business when I was 18 and it was a recruitment company and I absolutely loved it. I ran it for about seven or eight years before almost stumbling into business chicks. I was invited along to an event by a girlfriend and I fell immediately in love with the concept. I walked into this room of passionate and engaged women and it was about 300 women in the one room there. I remember thinking, this is something special. There's some magic here that's going on. So when I learnt the business was for sale, I, I bought it. And that was a real light bulb moment for me. Um, I think we were seeing a lot more visibility in the media around women and around what women want, around the gender pay gap, about equal representation on boards. And so the timing was really right for a really powerful women's network. So it was a really great, you know, serendipity prevailed, I suppose. Um, and the timing just worked really, really well to set about building a really strong brand that empowered women and so far so good. I think one thing that most entrepreneurs have in common is this innate sort of level of energy. We see things very positively and you know it's not hard for us to stay motivated because it's who we are. It's just part of our upbringing and it's part of our DNA. So I don't find it hard to stay motivated. Um, I really get fueled by my people these days. I feel responsible for the team that I have and I really um, fire off of their passion and their commitment and their enthusiasm. I think it's really important when you're setting up your own business and trying to find your way as an entrepreneur to really lose your ego and you've got to be open to learning all the time. So for me when I was starting out I tried to find as many mentors as I could. I'd ask a heap of questions and I was always the first person to put up my hand and say I don't know how to do that. When I'm hiring people I look for people who have got the right mindset and right attitude and I look for people that I would want to have a beer with and I want to hang out with. Um, I feel that if I have the sort of people who can get on well in my business and um, have the right sort of values, they will in turn go on to look after our customers. So I look for kindness in people, I look for a sense of generosity, I look for a sense of fun and a sense of humour is really, really important. I don't really believe in work-life balance. I don't try and balance anything. You know, I mean, balance to me is where you stand there and try and have everything in this perfect equilibrium. And if you try for perfection like that, you're going to fail. So I'm the first person to put my hand up and say, I don't have any balance in my life. You know, I live and breathe my business. And when I'm not in my business, I'm with my family. But the two worlds collide all the time. And that's cool. That's the way it is for the moment. And I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. I often get asked, are entrepreneurs born or made? In my case, I think I was born an entrepreneur. When I was seven years old, I used to get all the kids in the neighbourhood, rally them around my parents' backyard and send them out to buy a stack of lollies and chocolates and I'd repackage them in smaller packets and then sell them back to the parents at an inflated price. So um, I suppose that was my first foray into being an entrepreneur. I was seven years old. 